transfer will show up, but it'll show up in both places, negating each other, so that it's zero on the total line. Does that make sense? So every year, if you were to look at Warner's financial statements, you'll see we have interfund transfers, and they always zero up. Okay? We're transferring money from our restricted fund into our general fund. Or our restricted fund, as we call it. Okay? Uh, let's see. So, Water Enterprise Fund. Water Enterprise Fund is what type of fund? A business. Business type, right? Business type activity. It's proprietary. So, these all have to do with governmental pieces. Then they get summed up here. Then next to that, we have an aggregated amount of business type activities. Okay? So, under that business type activities, we have... Water service, we have charges for service, 13 million, we have expenses, 11,900,000. Then just like they did up here, total them over, this 1.1 million is what? What might you call that? What is it? What makes it up, first of all? How do I get 1.1 million there? It's a difference. It's a difference between my revenues and my expenses. So in the business world, we would call this profit or net income, right? So that's my net income here from my business type activity. Okay? the difference between the ser uh, your services and your expenses? Correct. And the yep. Yep. So that's just showing on the same line, right? This is my water service. This, in this case, is the only business type activity I have. The difference between the two is going to carry over, right? There's my 1.1 million. If I had other pieces, well, right, any grants that were going in here, anything like that, which would probably be unlikely but could happen, okay? And then I carry that over into my total. Uh, let's see, what have I not... Accounted for book value of general government building destroyed in the tornado. It was uninsured. Oh, that <laughs> so, if it was worth three hundred ten thousand, right? That was the book value. I'm going to have to record a loss, right, of three hundred ten thousand in my general government general governmental activities account. Okay. I total each one so that I know what's coming, um, well, I know what my change in net assets are for each one, right? Then I'm going to total them up for my whole government. I'm giving, I'm given the net position beginning for both my enterprise funds and my governmental activities funds, right? Mm -hmm. And then I add or subtract the change in net assets, and I come out to a final uh, net position or change in net assets in this case. Net position ending thirty three million nine hundred seventy thousand. Change in net assets was three million four hundred forty thousand. Okay. Questions? No. Go ahead. We've got time. <laughs> So you're given information, you're asked to slot that information as is shown on you, as is shown to you on page 534. With a couple other pieces, I noted page 532, about halfway down the page, under where it's talking about <coughs> measurement focus, it talks about not only the gain on sale of capital assets, right? Remember we took the proceeds minus the cost? That's your gain, the difference. In this case it's a gain. If you had sold it for less than it was worth, right, it'd be a loss. Okay? It also talks about, uh, it says in the second paragraph, depreciation expense on general capital assets, including infrastructure capital assets, not capital outlay expenditures, is reported on the statement of activities. So, your capital outlay expenditures that are listed on 545 of $7 million is not on this statement. Okay? 
It also talks about the decrease of principal and general liability. It does not show up on this state. Okay? Anything else we need to talk through on this? So, again, we're taking the governmental pieces, right, that we've done for each statement. That's what we've been doing for a couple weeks, right? Coming up with these statements. Now we are combining them with our enterprise funds. Okay? What the fuck is that? Fly. I don't know. That is not a fly. <laughs> that is not a fly. That is a yeah, it's a beetle. Stink bug. Okay. So we're taking our governmental pieces, me out. right? <laughs> we're converting them from the modified I don't care about it now. measurement focus to the accrual measurement focus. That's and in order to do that, we have to look at the gain, right? We have to look at the change from what was an expenditure to now what would be an expense, okay? Or if it was um, a type of income, right? If it was a type of inflow. Now we have to convert that to revenue or whatever is not revenue <coughs> and eliminate that. So you're going back to, now on a holistic basis, probably more of what you're familiar with. Okay? Questions? Scroll to the right. Sure. A bit. Sure. <coughs> So is there anything in the component, do we need a components unit column down there? A, a what? In the example in 534, after the total column, it says component unit? No, you don't. In this case, you don't. Because you don't have, you don't have those component units. You see the, do you see on the statement, <laughs> component units are landfill, public school system. You don't have those in this case. Okay. Okay. You just have business type activities and primary government activities. You don't have a component unit pieces. Or then you would have. Okay? Any more questions on this? Alright, let's take a break. Come back at 8.